All right, this is from China's Math Olympiad 2021 problem 6. It's a fill in the blank problem where we're given a right square pyramid. The, you know, the base ABCD is a square. The right pyramid means if project the point P onto the plane, it's going to be the center of that ABCD. All right, here we're given that the base length equals the height, all right? And G is the centroid of the side triangle here. We try to find the angle, uh, the sine of the angle between AG, you know, which is a nine here, AG, uh, this nine, uh, and to the um, the base uh, plane. All right. So why don't you try to solve this problem? Pause the video, and then we get the answer. Let's continue. We would like to review the property of centroid one. You know, basic uh, property we're going to use today is that uh, the centroid point, let's say this is G, divides each medium in the ratio of 2 to 1. All right. So in other words, this is A, B, C, R, S, T. We claim that AG over GT is going to be 2 over 1. How do we prove that? There is actually multiple ways of proving that. So today I'm going to give maybe a less often used method, right? Non-conventional method. Okay, one basic property is that if I have a triangle here, yeah, and then if I have a point here, the ratio of these two triangle, this, this is called S and T, so the ratio of S and T is actually proportional to the base. Okay, this is X, this is Y. So equal X over Y. So this why? Because they share the same height. Okay? So if x equal to y, then these two parts have the same area. Alright? That's an important fact we're gonna use. Now here, since this is uh, the center um, point here R, so which means these two areas must have the same area, right? Because the same side lens, right, and the same height. So Let's call the area x and x, right? Now, similarly, with these two, this must have same area y and y, and here, this would be z and z, right? Let's assume, because uh, this this is center point here, so the base is the same, so area is the same. However, when you look at the bigger picture here, I claim that when you look at this triangle here, right, the bigger one, right, let's, let's shade it here, for this triangle here, right, the area is yeah, x plus x plus z. I claim that is equal to the other half, which is y plus y plus z, right? So where's the other half? The other half is this one, right? So when you, when you look at this equation here, Right? So what do we get? We know that x must equal to y, right? If we cancel z, x must equal to y. Alright, and of course, let's erase everything here. Okay? So, in other words, this we need to be erased, y equal x, right? And use a similar argument, you can say this side Yeah, this says here must equal the other side because this is the central point here. So in other words, what you get is uh, an x plus x plus x must equal to z plus z plus x, which means x equals z. So everybody has same area here, right? So what we get is all the areas equal to each other. Okay, now. If that is the case, let's look at the here. This is x, right? This is g. Now, when we look at this triangle here versus the other side, yeah. So the base is what a g, yeah, and g t. So the area is two x versus x. So using the fact that uh, the area is proportional to the base. So what do we get? We get 2x 
over x, the area, right? Because this blue area is 1, equal to the base length ag over gt. So that's proof the fact that the ratio is 2 to 1, right? I believe this is a, um, not the typical way of method. Typical way of proving this may be a parallel line and you know, similar triangle and things like that. Anyway, now we have the proof. We're going to use it. All right. Let's come back to the original question here. So si since this is a centroid, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the line here. Right. So. All right. Let's go. This must be the middle line over here. And then since this is a centroid, if this is one, this must be two, right? So the ratio is one. The ratio is one and two, right? And uh, since this is the right pyramid, which means this is a, this O is the center. Now remember, if you have a square, yeah, if you have a square, okay, let's okay. A, B, C, D, and you have M here is the midpoint, and you have center here, right? Let's call O M, and you have O A here, right? O A, you're gonna connect that. You're gonna connect O A. Yeah, this is gonna be perpendicular to P O, right? But um, and then if you connect this one. This one is parallel here, the O M, right? So in the side lens here is equal to the height, right? This is the height, right? This is the side lens. We say the side lens equals the height, right? And uh, the other property is that uh, when you do, because we try to find A G, the angle, right? So we're going to try to project G onto here, right? onto here. This must lie on the line OM because it's the center, right? So let's call it H. Okay, so the angle here we try to find is actually the AH. Yeah, AH. So where is H? H is about, you know, one, one third of the length. And this is the ratio is one and two, right? So this is your going to be H. This is going to be your AH. So we look at the projected, you know, on the base, all right? So uh, since everything is proportional, we can assume a value for a and h, right? They're equal to each other. Let me see. Since we are going to, let's try to make it three. Um, actually, we divide by two. Let's make it six. Okay. It doesn't really matter because when we get a value, everything is proportional to that. So if the sentence is six. Right, then, and um, this would be and the diagonal would be, you know, O M, you know, O M is going to be three. This value is going to be one and two. Oh, that is convenient, right? And um, so this is going to be one and two, yeah. And uh, what is O? What is A H? Right, uh, because. We, we finally we're gonna find the angle here theta. We try to find sine theta. Sine theta is gonna be equal to g h over a g. In order to find a g, we need to find a h, right? So a g is gonna be by Pythagorean theorem is gonna be square root of um, a h square plus g h square, right? So what is GH? So GH is parallel to the height. So the length of GH over the height, in this case, I assume is six, right? Is gonna be equal to one over three, right? One over three, yeah, because uh, that is, uh, so, um, because the ratio is one over two here, right? So this is the ratio, not the, the the actual value. So in this case, what do we get? We get GH now, right? So this is GH would equal to two. All right, that's good. 
So that's equal to two, right? Mm. All right. Let's erase that. So Z H equal two, and we try to find A H now. Okay. So G H equal two. Let me see. G H equal two, right? And the A H look at this. This here. You have a you have a this is a square so this is gonna be this angle here is gonna be 135 degrees right 135 degrees and you we try to find the we're gonna use log cosine right so it's a h square and we try to find um, because yes you know we need to find this in order to find the the length of a g right the length of a g here. We try this is what we want to find. Um, but in this triangle here, yeah, the side length is two, and this side length is gonna be um, if side is six, the diagonal is gonna be uh, six times square root of two, and this half of that is gonna be three square root of two. Okay. So that's equal to three square root of two square plus two square minus two cosine two times two times three square root of two cosine 130 degrees, right? 135 degrees, which is a negative number, negative 45, sine, negative cosine 45, Change to plus cosine 45 that would equal to this one, right? So let's cancel, cancel square root 2. This is going to be 2. That's going to be 12, right? This whole thing is 12. All right, this whole thing is 12 plus here is 6, yeah. Oh, sorry, not six, nine times two, right? So that's going to be um, plus uh, four, right? Plus 12. So here, that's equal to 34. Now, in order to find out AG, we use this Pythagorean theorem. So AG is going to equal square root of a h square is 34 plus g h g h g h is 2 plus 4 equals square root of 38 all right so we if we get the math right now we have the answer it's going to be 2 over square root of 38 all right so here i think the um there are two parts of this question. One is make sure you understand this, uh, you know, um, central point, you know, and then it will have this proportion of one over two. So, and and then the other thing is that if you project, you know, onto the plane here, you know the relationship of different key points here, right? This is, uh, yeah, I think it's just uh, uh, some algebra tricks uh, along the way, all right? So, I don't know if you get this answer or not. If you do, congratulations. I think uh, you may be able to participate in some competitive math. All right. Thank you.